Well, good morning. What's going on with everybody? Welcome to Wednesday as I begin filming this. Tons of construction going on, folks. Boy, they're putting a whole addition on that house right there. Hope you guys were able to see that. I tried to offer those folks $50,000 for that house. It was a three bedroom, one bath. I felt like they were super in over their heads. It was a young couple. It's their first flip and they're putting a whole addition on a house. I don't know where the hell they got this money from, but they got it. As you can tell, today is definitely gonna be about houses, 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 and friendly flippers is what it is. We're getting ready to be over here at the flip house. We're gonna see what's been going on. It's been a little bit. It's been about a week that we've been working over here. It's definitely been slow, but it is about to pick up. I'm getting ready to be hopefully meeting with a guy that I'm meeting off of Facebook for some drywall and plaster work. And if that doesn't work out, Richard, Shannon's brother, my number one over here, he's recommended somebody that I'll try to contact. So I'd like to have a couple of different quotes and a couple of different people. Never just go with the first guy, especially considering the first guy is somebody that we're meeting off of Facebook Marketplace. So there's that. Supposed to be meeting with the drywall guy today. Gonna look inside the house, see what's been going on up in here. And also, there's an auction taking place today. Let's get up in the house and I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about that. Bing, we are up inside of the house and what is it looking like? Well, it's looking like a little bit of the first house. It's looking a little bit like the first house. All right, one window boarded up and that's it. So, we can actually, now, well, just to get a little bit of light. Okay, so laundry area is gonna be over here. We've been working to get this flooring taken care of. I thought all of this flooring was gonna be scraped up, but it's, <coughs> but it's not. I don't know what's up with that. It should have been all scraped up. Oh well, no big deal. So you can see our new electrical is going in right here. This is just the rough end. We're gonna be ready for our rough end inspection a little bit later this week. Today's Wednesday, actually we should be ready for it tomorrow. I'm hoping that we are, but we'll see. Definitely been kind of hit or miss with our electrician, but he's been in here trying to get the job done. He's just one man, so there's all of that. We've got our chimney exposed right here. Still not sure what the hell we're gonna do with this if we're not just gonna board this whole thing back up. We'll have to see. A Little bit of damage up there, but no big deal. Laundry area is gonna be over here. And again, putting the extendo on the kitchen is why that window had to be boarded up right there. Trying to salvage that window, possibly not build the nook. I don't think we're gonna do that. We're just gonna put our laundry over here and you'll have the window back there forgive me i got a lot of things on my mind i don't have a lot of time i'm trying to tell you guys everything real quick there's another house on this street for sale there's two more houses on this street for sale right now and both of those houses look exactly like this house and the first house could you imagine if we ended up getting both of those i don't really want those i mean i do if the price is right but right now the price is not right but the reason i share that is i want to show you guys this picture right here of the well one of those houses and how they've done their laundry and their refrigerator and their kitchen i mean it's just all bunched up right there and that's exactly what we were we were working with up inside of this house here our flip our second flip house i don't want to do that so again that's why we're going to have our own little laundry area and this wall had to go so that sink can stay where it's at there's our window cabinets stove microwave countertops refrigerator got our refrigerator power all right there and you got to have outlets above your countertop every so many feet, something along them lines. So that's what's going on here. We're going to salvage these cabinets. We're going we're to paint these. And that's going to save us some money right there. Boom, the archway is gone. We've shorted up up there, put a king stud up there, or some other shit Richard was telling me about it. I don't necessarily know, but we're going to put some casing around here. So just trim is basically what this is. We're gonna case this in and it's gonna look real good. We also built this out a little bit so that our refrigerator will be hidden behind there. And then you've got your lovely living room space. 
Why I want to meet with this plaster drywall guy? Well, we've got drywall work that definitely is going to need to be done in here. And I want to get, hopefully I can show you guys this, I want to get all of this texture skim coated and smooth. Now, let's go ahead and look at the real, the real deal. Like the one thing that's really been taking place over here, and that's the bathroom. Richard has been on that. So here is our new tile already done and around our window. Looks really good, it just needs to be grouted. All of these little spacers can come out now. We're gonna have our new, our new, uh, our new stuff going on here. So that's gonna look really good. And Richard's been working on these walls, getting these walls back so that we can be ready to paint these. Uh, one thing that was kind of interesting to share with you guys is when we took down all of the old tile, we didn't lose the sheetrock. So Richard has been skim coating the hell out of this stuff. And we're almost back to we're almost back to just a regular wall. Once we get this wall looking, and that's almost there too. Once we get these walls back, paint them, you'll never even know. That brand new vanity up in here, that's going to look really good. That good tile is going to be up in here, that's going to look really good. So that's what's gone on over here right now. Waiting to try to get some quotes on drywall and skim coating. Uh, the siding is going to be taking place pretty soon. And we'll be doing some exterior stuff too. Pressure washing paint and getting these all back the way that they need to be front and back porch once all of that's done the bathroom should be done the electrical should be done oh yeah and oh damn something else very important i got to share this with you guys as well don't let me forget this don't let me forget this this is video number two that you guys are seeing from the flip house and i need to show you this piece of paper right here in my hand let me make sure that I'm showing you this right now. This is about to get put up. I can't show it to you because there's too much information that I don't want to leak. But I will show you this screenshot right here. We do have our permits. We're doing everything the right way, the way that we need to go. This is our building permit. This is our big, big deal, right? The building permit is the most important. You cannot get a final building inspection until everything else has been done. We've got an electrical permit. So we've got to have our electrical final, our final electrical inspection prior to getting signed off on our final building inspection. But what they are requiring of us to showcase and what we need to get inspections on are three different things. Framing is number one, which I don't think we're going to be doing much framing. Here, we were going to be building out, but I don't think that we're going to do that anymore. So... Who knows? We'll call in a framing inspection anyways. Uh, we did frame this in. So if they want to come and check out anything, they can you know, check out that. Insulation inspection. They, they want an insulation inspection. So we'll get one of those. And then the third thing is, I think the final. I think the third is the final. What'd they say? They want framing, insulation, and final. I've got to tape this up on the front window. It says owner, Joe Guerrero contractor contractor's name and then it says for an interior home remodel so that's what we're doing all right so I showed you guys the permit showed you guys the bathroom showed you guys what we got going on up in here you're probably wondering where everybody is at richard is at that class to become that contractor that i'm paying for sending that young man to college is what we're doing here on after prison show making dreams come true kidding about that it was a joke don't take it so seriously sometimes i'm just cynical i think that gets lost on people sometimes anyways showed you guys everything that we got going on over here moving on there's something else that i've never gotten a chance to do and i want to go try to do it today i don't know how it's going to work out i might get kicked out but there's a live auction that's taking place today i think this one is for a three bedroom one bath in this city it's a live auction on the courthouse steps now this is at 11.15, it's like 10.30 right now as I'm filming this. To register for this, you had to be there by 10.15 and you gotta bring $20,000, like cashier's checks for this. No more than $10,000 in cash. Crazy to think about this. There's gonna be some sharks out here because people are scooping these houses up and you're probably wondering, Joe, why are you going to this? Are you gonna try to buy this house? 
I'm not. I ain't got the cashier's checks. I could, I could have a proof of funds. But what I'm going for more importantly is because I want to see just what these houses are really selling for. I want to see. So I'm trying to get me a little bit of information, trying to get me a little bit more hip to this. Am I paying too much for houses? Maybe. I mean, this is only my second house. But I want to see what these sharks are paying for these houses because nine times out of ten, what's going to end up happening at this is they're going to scoop this house up. They're not even going to do the renovation on it. They're going to put it right on Facebook Marketplace as a for sale by owner. They'll be your bank. You'll give them three, five, ten thousand dollars down, X amount per month for 30 years. And that's how they're making passive income to a certain degree. We're gonna go to this auction. We're gonna see if we can just maybe meet some people. Maybe we can meet a co-investor. Who the hell knows? We might get kicked out of here, but we're on our way there right now. And I'm interested. Hopefully we're gonna learn some things and hopefully you guys will be interested to see. I wanna show you guys this house right here. This is the house that's being auctioned. And what do you think that this house is worth? What do you think that this house is gonna sell for? Maybe we'll get a chance to find out together. Forget storage units. That's the wrong dream, George. The wrong dream. It's these houses. So let's go see if we can learn something together. All right, so I don't know if you guys can tell or not. Behind me, well, you should be able to see something. We're up at the courthouse right now. We're a couple of minutes early. It's 1048. I see a couple of people sitting outside. This thing literally happens right on the courthouse steps. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to try to mingle. I'm just going to act like I'm here to bid too. So let me go see if I can make some friends, shake some hands, or try not to do that because of the COVID. Oh man, there's a dude sitting in his car right beside me watching me right there. Oh God. All right. Let's go see what this house sells for. I'm interested to see this. Oh, that's so dark. All right, it is 11.41 and getting ready to get up out of here. What an experience that was. So here's the house real quick. I want to show you guys this. this is the three bedroom, one bath. I think it's like 1,400 square feet. Now, there was no reserve on this website and I had no idea what this house was going to sell for or what this thing was going to open up being bid at. I had no idea whether or not I was going to get kicked out of here or be allowed to participate in this. Well, the woman who was orchestrating all of this or the person who was checking attendance was from the auction.com website. Hey, we've got some experience with them. That's where we bought our first house from, our first flip house. So I was telling her about that. She was asking me how the experience was. I told her it was a pretty good experience. And I said, hey, look, I'm just here to watch this. Is that going to be okay? And she said, absolutely. For one house... There would end up being about 15 people who would show up to this and you got to bring money. You got to bring cashier's checks like 20,000 or 10% of what the sale price is going to be. But dudes had just stacks of cashier's checks. Probably was like half a million dollars out here. For one little house in Portsmouth, everybody wanted to know what this thing was going to open up at. The trustee for the lawyer's office came out there this guy was probably one of the most cocky people i've ever seen in my life uh but you know a real cool type of guy right he comes out there making some jokes they opened up the auction this three bedroom one bath 1400 and something square foot house opened up at like eighty two thousand dollars it would end up selling after about 15 minutes and a lot of bidding it would sell for one hundred and sixteen thousand dollars According to Zillow, the after repair value of this house or the AR, well, I guess, you know, what this house is supposed to be worth is about, you know, 170 something thousand dollars. Maybe it's even over $200,000. Maybe it is. I saw a three bedroom, one bath house where we are in the area of Portsmouth in that area. I saw that sell for one thirty four nine. So if you spent one sixteen on a house and you need to put $30,000 in repairs in that house, you better hope you're going to sell for what that Zillow's saying, that 176 or higher. Now, of all of these people who were here, I mean, we're talking about some straight sharks, some straight cool guys and women. There were women out here as well. All different creeds of people. Just It was a really really eventful type of a deal not everybody was nice but the the crazy thing is is i was like expecting it to be all deep pockets out here really what it was was a lot of people who work for the people with the deep pockets with their ear pod in 
and just talking to the money. Hey, the bid's at, you know, 111 2 111 one 111 a dollar over was how they do it. The house sold for $116,000. There's auctions that are taking place almost every single day. All of these people know each other. Some of them like each other. Some of them hate each other. I got a chance to network with two different people. The youngest guy who was there, 23 years old, I met him. He works for some deep pockets. And I met a woman who was there who I guess had a problem with the young kid and somebody else. I guess there was a little bit of drama there. The young kid would tell me afterwards, the woman's batshit crazy. And yesterday she went and won an auction. And turns out she was bidding on a house that she didn't even know what she was bidding on. She bid on the wrong house and won crazy so what did i learn from this experience i learned that you know it's pretty much what i thought that it was straight cutthroat 15 people showing up for one measly little house and ready to spend the absolute max to get that house crazy to think this house opened up at eighty two thousand dollars that's the least that the bank would have accepted sold for 116 i enjoyed this I got a chance to do some networking, and I'm going to be looking forward to trying to do more. Maybe even winning, a, maybe buying a house from one of these auctions. I just need to do my due diligence, make sure I got my title search done, which you have to do. You got to do that title search because you don't want to go buying a house that's got four mortgages on it. But then I thought to myself, well, do you really need to do the title search? Because why do you need to do it? If everybody else is here bidding on the house... Well, then you got to know that it's probably okay, right? So that was eventful. I got to get ready to go meet this drywall guy uh, in about 15 minutes. I got to hurry up. I got to go meet this guy for this drywall quote, see what he's talking about. And I will catch you guys in just a little bit. We're heading back over to the flip house right now. All right. So anyways, it is, I think, 1240 in the afternoon. And I am just getting done meeting with... The drywall guy from Facebook. Finishing guy, plaster guy. So, a couple of red flags. A couple of red flags. Uh, kind of looks like he's on drugs. <sighs> but he comes in and he knows what he's talking about. And I don't know if he's on drugs. Am I just being paranoid thinking that everybody on the Facebook marketplace who's advertising for trades work is on drugs no joe you're probably not but he gave me a really fair number and he said 1750 i think is what he said to do the skim coating and the plaster repairs that doesn't include materials that doesn't include hanging any drywall which of course there's drywall that needs to be hung and i probably should have just had him give me the number for all of that but we'll see I want to get this guy started as soon as possible. He was, and there I go saying that. Uh, Joe, you don't ever learn, do you? He seems to be a knowledgeable individual, and who am I to judge this man? We're going to let his work speak for that. Uh, he wanted a, an upfront deposit, which I first addressed before he even brought that up, and I said, there will be none of that. I can give you a draw after the first day show me what you can do in here he said to do this house it would take five six days maybe it's probably gonna take more than that it is a lot of work i make no illusions about that but am i making a mistake if i'm getting ready to go with this guy there was another guy that i was supposed to meet with he was busy today i think he's busy tomorrow because he didn't tell me well because he told me that he doesn't know if he would be available am i gonna just go with this first guy there's a car pulling up right now but um who knows it could be somebody trying to scope out this property and send me a postcard saying we'll buy your house what are they doing they're parked right beside my vehicle hopefully they're not trying to steal nothing out of my car but anyways i got to figure out this electrical we're supposed to have a rough fan inspection tomorrow that's what we're planning on and I don't know if that's going to be possible or not. I don't even know if we're ready for the rough and inspection. I don't really think that we are. We'll have to see. i got to wrap up this video. You guys let me know what you think. A lot of things that we covered today. And we're trying to get rolling. I mean, we're, we're getting there. We're slowly but surely, we're getting there. So you let me know what you guys think of all of this. Going to the auction, meeting with this guy. Am I making a huge mistake? By the time you see the next update, we'll have either made a mistake or it'll have been the greatest thing that we've ever done. It's like going forward on fourth down. If you make it, it was a great idea. And if you don't, 
It was a horrible one. I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say about all of this, and I look forward to talking with you guys again real soon. And until then, peace!